That's a pretty good shot. So, you want me to start from the beginning again? Uh, I think we got that one, but... Okay, so, so you, at this point we've already just eliminated all the layers and you're stuck with just the grounding layer. So you can go utilities, ground study setup, you go ahead and run through the process. So these have unknown grounding line types, but these are going to be four out. Uh, that's what we use for our, our conductor for grounding. So what we're going to do is go to properties. Since it's already selected, you don't click nothing. Um, these one, these edges are here. They're not selected. They've been identified as four out already. So the interior of these that are that are kind of in that dotted line. They represent like, hey, these are the ones that we don't know what the conductor is. So we're gonna apply a line type, and we're gonna tell the system that they're four out. Click enter. There you go. All conductors now have a, a grounding line type. Go to utilities. Go to the next step. I'm just gonna check this again, just for sanity. Okay, so we're good. Next one, check out ground rods. See there's a a rogue ground rod over here. Hold up. Let me get rid of this guy. We'll try it again. Uh Not located on ground conductor. That's fine. What it's saying is that these ground rods are not on, actually on this line. Yeah. So we're gonna have to unfortunately move it. As a test, it said 24 to begin with, right? That it said it went on it. Right. So we're gonna see now 22. So we've gotta move these down to actually hit that line. Could have been just some drafting thing, you know. So a part of this part process is you gotta kinda clean up people's drawings a little bit so that you can run an analysis. Um I'm gonna put my snap on so that I don't miss anything. Where's the line? This one's gonna be kinda weird. Oh, Okay, my snap was a bad idea. Let's try to nail this. Oh, why does it keep moving it? Snap off. Okay. I'm not sure if these are supposed to be here or here. When you do grounding layouts and you put your ground rods, do you land them on top of this point? To the side. To the side? Yeah. I've seen them both ways. Both ways? Yeah. i try to get it nailed down. Um, I'm going to try this again, see how many more I have to go through. 16. So you see all the ones that we moved mm -hmm. are actually on the line now? Right. Minus this one. This one's being stubborn. Probably because I did the undo stuff. Yeah. And we got affected by it. And, or I just didn't see it. So 
So yeah, this is the most tedious part of it, is just cleaning up everyone's stuff a little bit. Probably not even much of a move, they're probably off by like some really small number. You just gotta move it just to get it on there. See, like, look at the distance, it's really small. I'm doing is just clicking it and clicking it back down. The snap will kind of get it in place. I think that was the last one on this one. This one's being stubborn. There's still going to be some cleanup. Seven. Seven, not on ground conductor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these guys directly on it. Just so that I know they're going to be on the conductor. Since they're being so stubborn. Let's try it again. See which ones need to be cleaned up. Two. Okay. It's better than 22, right? Yeah. Where is this dang conductor? It's the other one. So look how small of a difference that is. This is a conductor. That should do it. God, man, being stubborn. Alright. I think, see that line right there? Yeah. I think that line is throwing us off, but. I think we're good. Last one. Find a good demarcation. Hopefully that did it. If, if it's gonna give me issues. Yeah, I'm gonna try to move it over here. Is there a polar or something? Oh snap. There you go. All set. Next step. Uh, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna save this real quick so I don't have to do it again. You're gonna have to make a new folder anyway, so. I spell Altair. Like that, right? Altair. Grounding layout. <clears throat> so, check ground wells. There shouldn't be any ground wells. 
not in this drawing. That command just selects everything for the next step. And it's pretty much going to just remove any overlap. There you go. Next, just keep going down. Um, delete strays. We kind of already did that, that one that was over here hanging out. That was kind of a stray. And then this point, we're going to convert it to a finite element. It's going to give it uh, vector coordinates. So a vector works x, y, and then the z coming out. So that's what it's doing. Now we're going to list the coordinates. This will pop up. <clears throat> Enter substation name. All tar. Yep, tar. Enter minimum conductor length is one. Maximum. Enter grip depth is one point five. It's going to ask you where you <coughs> want to put it. You can go ahead and click that folder that you just made. Oh, um, sorry. I'm gonna go grounding studies. Reports Altair. So it's gonna save it as a dot .imp. What that IMP means? It's an input. This can give you this pop up. These are all the coordinates listed. No ground wells. 23 ground rods. So you're done with this part. That's the first part. Let's stop it there.